My name is Edivandro Conforto. I'm a global expert on organizational agility, innovation, uh, strategy implementation and transformation. I'm currently working uh, with uh, some projects uh, globally, uh, helping organizations and leaders uh, develop concepts and implement transformation initiatives in their organizations. Some years ago, you published an article um, on improvisation. So how does that connect to this um, whole complexity? Yes, and I was really glad to meet you and, and learn that you're uh, uh, doing some research in that area because I'm also uh, one of my, my hat, my, uh, my background is in research. So I, my master degree, my PhD, and even I uh, worked for two years at MIT studying improvisation, hybrid models, and hybrid organizations and innovation. Mainly focus on organization agility, so how these concepts, how these practices can help organizations to become more agile, and actually not agile by just become agile, but agile as a capability, agility as a capability. And in 2016, we did a, we did a research, uh, two years uh, later, uh, before we started research, and we published an article learning the art of uh, business improvisation at MIT's Law and Management Review in 2016. And we were trying to connect the improvisation capabilities with project environments. So how teams that were using agile techniques, practice, and approach were improvising as well, where we're learning and taking some of this competence um, to solve problems. And uh, I started the article by defining what's improvisation. I think it's a, it's a, it's a fair question. So, so for me, improvisation in the business context is how do you create and implement an unplanned solution to solve a problem that you didn't foresee? Uh, besides all the planning we do in organizations, all the strategic planning from top down to bottom up, most of the time, because the, the dynamic of business today, the dynamic of disruption in terms of technology, innovation, and also the change in the way people are working and consuming, you cannot plan most of the time, actually. You try to plan, but you need to have a mindset that that plan is going to change. And that's where today, even, before, even more important today than like a few years ago when I published the article, I must say that our improvisation capabilities are extremely important. Um, and there are many ways that organizations can try to emulate or develop these capabilities. So you don't need to be an actor or a singer or jazz, uh, a jazz uh, uh, um, uh, player um, uh, to learn these uh, competences. But you can develop and can help your teams develop these competences in your team, in your projects, in your uh, operations across the organization. Um, so improvisation is really important today uh, because the, the pace we are changing and all these innovations, these disruptive changes that are happening in organizations, they force us to, to, to have a different mindset and a different behavior when you look at planning and when you look at doing things. So I'm not saying planning is not important. Planning is extremely important. But if you don't have uh, these improvisational capabilities, chances are that when you hit a, a, a problem or something that you didn't plan it, you're going to get stuck. And, and that's the issue. That's the difference between really agile organizations compared to those organizations that doesn't, don't have this capability. What kind of capabilities are these improvisational capabilities? That's a good question. Um, let me see if I can get a list of them. So fr from my experience in the, in the research I did in this area, I think it's really important. Let, let's start with, with, the, uh, with the background. For, for an individual or a team, experience matters. Meaning, if you never worked in an innovation project before, Chances are the first time you do that, you're going to have some issues and challenge to, to quickly come up with solutions that you didn't think about it. So experiencing working in different environments, working with different projects, different situations, different industries sometimes, will help you become more ex ex expert in improvisation capabilities. The other thing I think it's extremely important is your openness to accept failure as part of the process. 
especially when you're starting. If you go to a jazz uh, concert, for example, if you're not, a, if you're not a, 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 an expert in jazz music, as, as I'm not, I'm not the, 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 uh, either, so it's not my case either, but if, if you go to a live concert, you're probably gonna know, you're not gonna notice when they are making mistakes, and they are making mistakes. Even though they are very experienced, they play together for, uh, for, for hours, for days, for months, or even for years, they're playing together, even though they are making mistakes. But they're correcting those mistakes so quickly that you don't notice. And that's how some organizations are doing. Some organizations that are able to improvise and have this organizational agility capability, sometimes they do mistakes, but it's so small or the impact is very low that you don't even notice. So this ability to accept failures and to learn quickly from those failures is extremely important. The other one is you need a repertoire repertoire of uh, different experiences I mentioned in order to be creative. And today, those, those ones that are the, the best improvisers, if you, if you do an analysis between different uh, fields of study, including music, you're gonna realize that they are very capable of integrating and connecting the dots quickly. So they can see a solution very quickly because they're able to see the whole more effectively than a regular people that are not improvising or don't have that skill. And that's the reason they, they, are, they can quickly turn something from a really complex problem to a really simple, nice, elegant solution. And that's go, that goes along with creativity. Um, a lot of things that, one other thing that I think is extremely important as a, as a behavior, as a, as, a, as a capability, is your ability to uh, learn as fast as you can. And that also goes along with the failure aspect. So today, because um, uh, um, you are, uh, for example, you are bombarded by a lot of information, you have social media, you have uh, so many articles being published every day, so many books, you have a plenty of information. So we, we don't have any issue about availability of information and data. The problem is how fast you can learn and understand where those learnings or those knowledges, or that knowledge specifically, will help you solve your problem. So we need to be connected, you need to be able to navigate this uh, uh, social environment, this digital world. And um, um, uh, for people with my age, we actually, we saw that happening. For my nephew, for example, he's 19 years old today, he was born digital. And for him, it's very quickly, it's very easily to know, oh, I can find this information there, I can talk to that person. So he is able to connect things because he doesn't have the information, but he knows where the information is. And that's very important for, for uh, improvisation. Um, so those are the four, five e uh, key concepts, key characteristics. I would say that are uh, essential for improvisation. We, we can talk about any, uh, probably much more, uh, many more uh, uh, competences, but these are the four or five things that I will focus on to start with. For some types of situations, sometimes of some, some types of industries and projects, you cannot plan everything. And that's where I think that are the, that's the sweet spot for you to start trying and, and experimenting some of these improvisational capabilities. So in my article, I described some situations in which you can do that. So um, it's, it's very good to have a team that understand the whole concept together. It's very good, very good to have an environment, a working environment uh, with visual uh, aids that will help you, visual artifacts, visual tools that will help you improvise. So you need to build that environment it's a safe environment where you can experiment developing these, um, these improvisational capabilities. And of course, as you go along this journey, training, developing your own content as well in your organization will help you to uh, spread out that knowledge and also get more people together to improvise or to be a team that is capable to improvise uh, effectively. So Ed Catmull, for example, he's speaking at this event 
and he wrote uh, uh, the masterpiece Creative Inc. And uh, he described a lot of uh, the, the key uh, competence from Pixar and the Pixar and, and, the, and the teams that were developing movies and, and, and ideas. And uh, he, he used to, he, he wrote a lot about accepting mistakes as a key piece of the process. So it's, it's funny because from his industry, compared to some of the industry, it might, it might sound very weird and negative, but he used to say that if you're not making mistakes, it means you're not creating something new. You're just copying someone else. You're just doing the same. So that's a key measure for your organization to say, okay, am I improvising? Am I trying to improvise? Am I innovating? If you're not making mistakes, it seems that you're trying the same stuff other organizations are doing already. So you're gonna have the same result as they're having. And a lot of organizations today, they, they want to develop this innovation capability. And for me, when you talk about innovation, disruptive uh, business models, creating new business models. So we have Alex Osterwalder here uh, being the chair of the conference and, 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 and he wrote a lot about new business models. If you don't have improvisation, agility capabilities, you're not gonna get there. So we are doing the same as other industries are doing, as, as your competitors are doing. And it, the risk is that in five years, 10 years from now, depends where you are in an industry, you might be out of the market.